Cheapest beer in the world! Hey there, explorers. How's it going, guys? So we are at the Vientiane International Airport, about to fly out to our next destination, which is Vietnam. I'm so excited! So we wanted to bring this up since uh, for US citizens you actually do need a visa prior to entering Vietnam. So we got our e-visa. So the visa cost us $25 each and we will be staying basically the entirety of the time. We leave one day before our visa ends. We are just waiting in the check-in area, so we actually can't check in yet. Uh, you can't check in until it's about two hours from departure. So we're not even in like the departure area. Vietnam is super special. I'm really excited because there's so much history there. Dive into the culture and the food. Oh my gosh, can't wait for the food. And I think this is a place that I'm really, really gonna love. You did it. place in Hanoi. We will be here for the next five nights. Definitely one of the nicer places that we are staying at. The bathroom is super nice. I love this tile in here. I love how open it is. So we got some shelves here, got some great artwork, nice big bed. Welcome to Hanoi! Before we head out to get some food, we wanted to give you first thoughts on Hanoi. The traffic here is crazy. Our driver was heavy on the horn. And definitely rolled down his window to seem like cuss somebody out. Yes. A few times. Yes. I I almost couldn't look sometimes. There was, there was a lot of close calls. Scooters everywhere. So we are going to head out Hopefully find some food and... Not get run over. And not get run over. We stepped out and found ourselves the first pho place. Yeah, it was recommended from our Airbnb hosts. Super, super excited because they said that this was really, really good. So clearly we didn't know what we were ordering. But it looks good. It does look good. Thought it was pho. Because it, it said underneath pho. It did. Mine looks like it's in broth with like fried eggs, beef, and some vegetables. No noodles at all. Mine has noodles. Mine has spinach, carrots, beef. Wow. Mm. Mm. That bomb beef. It's really good though. It's like really crispy. The sauce in the bottom is soaking up all the, the friedness. It's really yummy. I'm getting into the the bottom of it, and these eggs are like super soaked. It's really good at like the, all the juice like explodes in your mouth. That was really really good, even though it wasn't what we were expecting. It's still delicious. Okay, just to show you guys, this is what I got. It says pho, but it also says the restaurant style. So we're assuming that's why it didn't come out the world famous way of actual soup. But either way, it does say it was the restaurant style, so I'm leaving it at that. This is Don, I'm going to tell you to say this wrong, but Don Juan. But Don Juan is a huge indoor 
market basically and there's so many different things here we are currently looking for an electronic camera stick Let's see if we can find one there is so little space to walk in here but it looks like they are selling fabric like um, salesmen or producers come here to get stuff for their clothing that they make. Right behind me is the red wooden bridge called the Hook Bridge. And within the lake here, there is also the Nuuk Son Temple, which is the Temple of Jade Mountain. It, it kind of brings a little bit more of a relaxed feel to the crazy hecticness that we see outside here on the streets. There's so many nice benches and it's just so green. The gardens are beautiful. It's so serene to just kind of get out and feel like you're not even in the city anymore. It's incredible. So we finally found some pho. Yeah! It's really good. I do wish there's a little bit more sauce, like a, like a hoisin or a hot sauce. They do have a little bit of a, a hot pepper sauce here, but it's a little bit different. It is very good. The meat's nice and tender. The noodles are yummy. The broth is really, really good. Um, and I love putting these. They gave us a plate of bean sprouts and herbs, fresh herbs and limes. And I really, really love this. This city is busy. There is a lot of people. And the more I walk around, the more it just feels like New York. It does remind me of New York a lot because it seems like a community of people here. Although crazy, hectic, and chaotic, it's a home. It feels like a home. It's a very nice place. So guys, I had heard this might happen, but I wasn't for sure. They have closed down the railway, the train street in Hanoi, the very, very popular train street in Hanoi. They have shut it down because it has become too dangerous for people to be walking up and down and shops to be open and the train coming up and down the tracks. It doesn't even look like we can go any further than where we are right now. Check it out. That's pretty disappointing to be honest, but since we're here, we're just gonna kind of tootle around and see what else we can find. I just saw my life flash before my eyes while crossing that street back there. This traffic is just crazy. There are so many people here. It's absolutely insane. But, and there's scooters on the sidewalk. Not only do you have to look out for scooters and cars on the street when you're crossing, but you also have to look for scooters on the sidewalk. So guys, we just went through uh, tiny maze of different alleyways here. I'm still not exactly sure what happened, but there are scooters everywhere, different shops, homes, people were living back there. 
and we just popped out onto the other side into this incredible little sanctuary, garden-esque area. There's this cute little lake and all these little houses kind of stacked up nice and pretty. This place just keeps surprising me. Going through the little side streets and the alleys does give you a little feel of like being in Venice, especially after you know you get out of it and then there's you know whatever this is, lake or pond. Venice-esque. And we also just wanted to touch on the money here. So the money here is called the Vietnamese Dong. D-O-N-G. Dong. <laughs> You're a child. <laughs> And it is the weakest money that we have used since we've been here. So one US dollar roughly relates to 23,000 Vietnamese dong. So this 200,000 dong note equates to about $8.50. And then guys, I wanted to touch on this beer. It is Via Hanoi and supposedly it is the cheapest beer in the world. We got this can at one of the marts and it was 10,000 dong. <laughs> Which roughly relates to about 43 cents. It gets even cheaper if you get it on draft. So if you go out and you get it on draft, it's gonna be even cheaper than 43 cents. So we are out on Hanoi Beer Corner. This is basically an area where there are tons and tons of street markets, side streets where you can pick up street food, but specifically, it's for draft Hanoi beer. So like I said, if you get it, from the keg, it's much cheaper. Here is a spot on the street where we got these pours for 5,000 dong, which is 22 cents. Cheapest beer In you can find world. anywhere. Cheers. Cheers. Solid beer. That's good stuff. If you guys enjoyed our first video here in Hanoi, please make sure to give us a like and to subscribe. And be sure to check out our next video for some Hanoi history and some historic sites. We'll see you guys next episode. Got this? Here we are. <laughs>